swapped their blackberries for blackboards and they're taking over our children's classrooms. They're bigger, taller and hairier than your average primary teacher. Who are these mysterious beings? You don't see them very often. I think every school to have one. What are they talking about? They shout a lot. They wear funny shoes. OK, some clues there. Definitely human. Not many scones have one. If we don't have one at home, I like to have one at school. It's men. More specifically, male teachers. They're a rare sight in primary schools these days. Just 12 out of every 100 primary teachers are men. A recent survey found that over 70% of parents said they would like to see more men teaching their little ones. One of the tools that they're going to be using today is the saw. Martin Delaney had a good job as a factory manager in Sheffield when a chance conversation prompted him to make a momentous decision. I was actually at a party about five years ago talking to a lady who'd given a job up to train to be a school teacher and I said to her, I'd love to do that. And she said, well, go on then. I said, no, I would, honestly. She said, well, go on then. Let the saw do the work. Spurred on by that conversation, Martin gave up his well-paid job to study full-time. Five years on, he has his degree and now his first teaching job. He's working with 9- to 11-year-olds at Ooty Bridge Primary. Hold it nice and carefully. Every day is different. If you don't know it, you go and learn about it yourself before you do it. Your own knowledge increases, their knowledge increases. And that moment when you sat with a child and they go, oh, yes, and that penny drops and you think, yeah, suddenly I'm a teacher. Martin has just one other male colleague at his school, and that's good going. Half of all children aged between 5 and 11 have no contact at all with male teachers. Do you like having a, a male teacher to talk to? Yeah, because it's, um, it just, I don't, I don't know why, it just feels like I feel more comfortable with a male teacher. Really? I don't know why, but... Because you're a boy. Yeah, because I'm a boy. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is the difference between having a male teacher and a female teacher? I don't have a female teacher. teacher. They sort of, like, they tend to be a bit harsher on the boys. And really? Like, yeah, they sort, they sort of, they're stricter and the girls get away with quite a lot. The kids may find blokes a softer touch, but with concerns about boys underachieving in the classroom, can male teachers reach parts their female colleagues can't? We've got a full set of skills um, in schools where there are male teachers and there's a, a willingness to do different sorts of things which uh, gives a good all-round education to the children. Whilst Martin became a teacher through choice, many men are considering retraining because of redundancy in the recent recession. And Sheffield is one of several cities that's joined an initiative to tap into this newly available talent and tempt them into the classroom. Oh, they're going to get the straighteners on as well. Fantastic. Bill Hilton was working in recruitment, earning up to £40,000 a year when he suddenly lost his job. I think once I'd made redundant, I came into school bringing my daughter into school because I was able to do that for the first time. And speaking to one of the teachers in the school, she suggested I, I volunteered. He came at the time in his life when he was wanting a career change. It soon became very obvious to everybody. He had terrific talents and skills as a musician that school was desperately looking for. And somewhere along the line, it's the enthusiasm to bring all that into life and, and to pick up the ethos of our school and work with it. Unsure at first if teaching was for him, Bill's voluntary work at the school has more than met his expectations. Brilliant, it's not work, it's enjoyable. It's just that every day is different and you're actually a, a proper sense of achievement. Anything, anything for you. So do you get your hair cut then? Who does your hair? Now Bill's decided to help the cause. I start uh, my course at Sheffield Hallam in September, three years, uh, and I will come out the other end all well and good being a teacher. 100% happy. Yeah. And Martin, who's okay. gone down the same route, has no regrets. One of the other teachers said to me the other day, be working with children is a privilege, and that's exactly what it is. It's just a privilege to be here among these children. He's done. Am I done? Well, we're joined by Ollie Moses, deputy head at Rygate Priory Junior School, where uniquely half the teachers are men. That's right. Ollie, and is it the notion then, if there is one male teacher there, the rest will follow? I think that definitely helps. There's no secret recipe on how to get male teachers into your school, but once you get a, a few through the door, um, it gets a lot more easier for sure. I think there needs to be a willingness by a school to include men in the schools 
um, staff in. So generally, what is the resistance to it? Why? Because most primary schools aren't like yours. They're lucky to have, mm -hmm. or maybe, I don't know, two out of ten teachers what it's likely to be. Uh, uh, um, for, there's a lot of stereotypes related to being a male teacher, particularly in a um, uh, sector of education which has been female dominated. Uh, you know, particularly in today's culture, um, being a male teacher, working with children, there can be a lot of thought around that. Yeah, but really. Say you've got to jump through a lot of ho hoops. A lot quite of hoops rightly, and everything else. Yeah, quite rightly. Um, but male teachers can offer in, in the classroom. Good teachers, we want good teachers in the schools. And if we're not encouraging males, then maybe we are missing out some and of those. And ide teachers. ideally, you would have a mix for obvious yeah. reasons. Um, at our school, we, it's all about developing the whole child, broad balance cur curriculum, and giving them the um, experiences that are going to carry them on through their lives. And working with men is part of that. Mm -hmm. I'm a product of all male teachers. My infant school, there were women, but my junior school, from 7 to 11, all men. No women at all. Any particular favour? Doesn't it show? Yes. <laughs> um, any particular favour? Yes. Well, there was one teacher who also taught my brother, too, who was five years older than me, Cecil Dorman. And when I went on to secondary school, secondary modern school, he was in my English teacher uh, from the second form. And, well, this man was... Uh, the, the reason why I am sitting on your couch today talking about the kind of things that I'm talking about was because of one teacher. And that's a Mr. Mm. Dormant. Cecil Dormant. It doesn't sound very dynamic somehow to me. It's just something <laughs> in the name. Would... Yeah, well, he was dynamic and, and he was personable and pleasant and yeah. full of ideas and unconventional, I think, too. Certainly, he inspired me to do what I'm doing now. We've got, a, we've got a clip, uh, perhaps you'd care to assess uh, Sir Patrick's <laughs> abilities as a teacher, because we found a it's clip from uh, Sesame Street of you doing some kind of teaching. Uh -huh. I'm rather forbidding in tone, I thought, but got the job done. Let's see what our teacher thinks. <laughs> oh, please, number one, get in your place so I can count you. Uh, count? You know, maybe I could be of some assistance. How? Well, you want the one in its place, right? Right. Make it so, number one. Outstanding lesson, got the numbers in the right order. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Ollie, lovely to meet you. Thanks very much yes. uh, yeah, for good coming luck. in. Great work. Thank Are you. all the kids in your school and all their parents watching uh, this evening? We didn't tell them specifically, but right. they knew that something was going on at, on one show today, so it's a bit of a surprise. Oh, they'll all be watching. Oh, yeah. Hello to everybody at that school. Yeah, right, good. Well, I'll tell you who else would make a very fine teacher. The